The South Florida Times is speaking with Wayne Adams, a city of Deerfield Beach employee who is also a resident in the city. He is concerned about the recent confirmation of unauthorized expenditures that was made by the city's former human resources director, Marva Gordon, who resigned amid an internal review of the matter. Now, Mr. Adams, what are your concerns? My concerns are that no Deerfield Beach taxpayer dollars was used in according to the investigation by the city. I just want to make sure that no Deerfield Beach taxpayers dollars were used and that no Florida state statutes were violated criminally by Miss Gordon. Now she was allowed to resign without employment consequences. You have any thoughts on that? My thoughts are I don't think that Miss Gordon should have been allowed to resign with her full benefits. I think that that was very irresponsible and Miss Gordon should have had should have been penalized in some way. I mean, she was able to leave with a clean file. And I just don't think that was right according to the investigation report that I read. Now, the the law firm that was um, contracted with to do the investigation, they did not issue any findings or final determination because, according to their report, Ms. Gordon resigned before it was completed. Do you have any thoughts on that there was no determination made whether or not she is actually violated any policies or not. Well, in my opinion, what do you pay a law firm for if they don't make no determinations on the investigation? To me, that's what that was a useless investigation. To me, that was a waste of taxpayers' dollars again. I mean, just because Miss Gordon resigned. It still should have been some type of determination or and a recommendation on disciplinary action towards Ms. Gordon, but that did not happen in this case. Do you think the taxpayers will benefit in any way by the state attorney's office conducting this review of this situation? I just, I think we will see if any laws were broken and it just my hope that the state attorney's office would do a very thorough investigation and not just sweep this case under the rug because of backlog or whatever. For the South Florida Times in Deerfield Beach, I'm Elgin Jones.